Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm here with a Dragalia Lost video. Now today is the third year anniversary of Dragalia, and to kind of celebrate it, I decided to do a video that kind of goes through the many videos I've made, the 370, 371 if you count this video, videos I've done on Dragalia and kind of have a look back. So this goes from 2018 from when Dragalia started to all the way in... <clears throat> to all the way in uh, 2021, and like I said, there were over 300 videos to pick from, so by the end, it ends up stopping just because some of the videos are more new in 2021. There's only one video from 2021, but it's a good one, but the rest of them are kind of just a look back, so kind of enjoy it, sit back, relax, I hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like, comment, tell me how happy you are it's the third year. I can't believe Dragalia made its third year. I was, uh, I'm always happy to see it continue on, and hopefully it continues on forward, forever, or for however long the heat death of the universe happens. <clears throat> but that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. Till next time, everyone. See you guys in the next one. And now, start- oh, I swear I'm a disaster person. Why do people watch me? And then where it says room ID with the number and the next one it says input ID click okay. input ID and it'll switch to free recruit open tall okay all right does this look good yeah also holy shit that was fast yes it was insanely fast maybe this is the way to go hello everyone I'm here with Zenra we're gonna do a raid <laughs> <laughs> it's already started oh my god oh my god this oh is really lost you should play it uh it's great yeah I love this game actually it might take a while to load so that during this time we can talk uh I'll say I'm rocking a Lily. She's the only reason I'm able to do this raid. Ah, she's super good. She's insane. I haven't. I don't even have her at the strongest, and she's already like crazy insane. Uh, this is the first raid they're doing. You're fighting against this asshole right here. Giant uh, fire turtle. What is his name? Fra Fraganoth. 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 Jackanoff. Am I right? All right. Ah, uh, got him. Got him. <laughs> yeah. All right, then. Thank, thank you for joining me for some Dragalia, for some raids, and then just straight up Dragalia Lost talk. Yes, the game's <laughs> really good, so I like talking about it. Yeah, we can't help ourselves with gotchas. Go it Especially literally good just... ones. We played so many bad ones that when you finally get a good one, you just grab on and you don't let go. Yes, and you pray for the best. You pray for no lols. Lols or like L -L or or. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm hoping for that rut to end, but I'm at least thankful that there's Dragalia to <laughs> distract me while I wait for it to wake the fuck up. <laughs> so you slowly pray that nothing bad is happening to it? Exactly. Send your prayers to Or while you yeah, also it's play always, Dragalia. It's always scary when it's like an unpopular gacha. Yes. Not that Or is like unpopular, but it doesn't have that big of a player base. When you compare it to uh, like, like something like Dokkan, like when there's a right, lull in Dokkan, giant. it's because they can afford it. Yeah. When there's a big lull like this and a gacha that, you know, isn't, like, explosively popular, it's always scary that it's not coming back. Hello, everyone. Are you ready for another fucking adventure? It's me, Wokey, here by myself once again uh, with some Dragalia Lost. It's been a very long time since I last recorded anything with Dragalia Lost, but I need to record something because I like to, you know, just record stuff. So why I figure why not show off some of the... Some void stuff, and by void stuff, I mean I'm just gonna beat up Frost Hermit a whole bunch. Go Dragon. Super effective. Let's kick his ass. Beat the old man down. Exactly. Yeah. Really, any the good thing about this, especially if you're a beginner, is that it's pretty easy to do. All you need to really, you don't need to like build a weapon for it. A lot of these other uh, Void Quests are tough for newer people, and to be fair, older people as well, is that they don't understand that you need to build a weapon, so you don't end up doing any damage, and if you don't come in with the right weapon for certain Void stuff, you're just useless. You're being useless to the entire team. Two more dudes. Another Marth and a Cerise. Not bad. Can we start? Well, too bad, Marth. I don't need you. If you think you're whole high and mighty, we're gonna start regardless. I have a video to run, you know, people to show, <laughs> show off some Fire Emblem stuff too. So, yeah, he's really useful for your everyday grind events, which is these three events, which is the main events you're gonna be grinding for the most part. 
Uh, and of course, for wind events, he'll be good to have just on the... Yeah, figured. Disconnected. He'll be good to have as a uh, side character. Because again, most wind events really just deal with stun. And when you can just stun everyone... Uh, that's great. Wait a minute. There we go. You have to always wait for them. Oh, damn it, I missed. <laughs> I missed that one. But it's alright. You should be able to get this guy, no problem, still. Uh, okay. Come on, there we go. Now everyone's slightly stronger. Everyone's having a good old time. Punching through, punching through. Uh, but yeah, I think he was very well built. And he's, uh, it's great because a lot of his stuff is, if you're new to the game of Dragalia Lost, a lot of the wind events are kind of the beginner, like, this is a good entry point for everything you do. So having a character basically be built to, uh, help with that event is fantastic. There's, like, nothing wrong with it. And, of course, we won. So we're good here. That's just showing him off a little bit. <laughs> mirror is just so crazy strong if you time it right the more damage you take the more um it's similar her skill too is similar to what veronica has which makes her high risk high reward so you know well oh man i'm playing terribly there she's frozen and that exactly why is one of the reasons why fjorm is so good Let's see if i was smart i would have started taking damage right there let me see if i can time it so i can take damage right at the right time let me see. This is my own. No, I wasn't able to do it right. Are you ready for another fucking adventure? I'm Wookie and I'm here to talk about fucking... I can't. Where shall I, I go? Hello. Perhaps I just realized that there's still someone all the way at the end of the hallway, I think. I'm here to it's very loudly talk about very loudly and quality talk about where I would... Because the fight will be over. So it's kind of like one of those things of like, you don't always see it, but also it's good because the fight's over. You would rather have a quick fight than a, a long fight, right? Okay, let me see. I'm going here. Is everyone ready to do uh, she has a very good yell too. There you go. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a, I've never heard her yell before. Ha! Oh! <laughs> I never noticed she yelled like that. <laughs> okay there we go this will be it so i'm gonna get hit by that just to show okay see she has no poison resist so she is worse on specifically the um the io but usually it's fine because light has so much healing so if you have like hildegard and if you're running the ha ah, if you're running a perfectly good light team it shouldn't be too much of an issue light still lets you oops did i hit anyone with that I completely misshowed that move. Uh, actually, no. Okay, so light, all light literally stops you is from being able to go... <laughs> is able to stop you from going dragon. I'm sorry, the Ha! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go dragon to dead this. Because I'm gonna be unable to continue if I'm just hearing her whole Ha! Every single time. Okay. And until next time, goodbye. 
kind of want to end it with another. Ha! Ah! Ah! I'm going to put down the music once again. And I want to thank everyone for joining me. As now in complete silence, this fight. Go! We are barely into this fight, and <laughs> we tell you, not looking great for old Mega Man here. Jesus Christ, you just deal literally no damage. Yeah, got him. This is actually just like a Mega Man boss now. All right, Leaf Shield. Oh God. Yeah, the whole three revives part is the part that's actually tricky about this. Jesus. All right, that's one life gone. <laughs> See how no metal blaze is nowhere close to being. Oh, you're kidding me! Okay, I need to get back my heal, so I'm just gonna. I have no time to force strike. I say as I force strike. Actually, force strike might be the way. Come on! Oh, Jesus Christ! All right, come on! God, Maribel. Okay, it's fine. Maribel's a very nice girl, but I also already have her. So, wow! Okay. So, again, we're looking for an axe or a bow. What happens if I get- Wow, three! Can we get all three in one go? Axe. Dragon. Bow. Oh my god, we're not. Please. I think I might actively scream. If it's... Okay. That's one down. That's the target. God, we're done. <laughs> that, that was. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> Thank you everyone for coming to the summit video. This. Good job, everyone. We did it. I need to go check on something now. I'll be right back. Okay. Everything seems to be fine. Alright. We did it. Oh my god, I can't believe we actually did it. Oh, I'm gonna say no to that and say thank you everyone for joining me. I hope you enjoyed these people runs. People's really good. I think uh, that was four people basically learning how to do High Brune Hilda with four peoples and memeing it up and then finally learning how to use people and getting it done. Better players than us have beaten it on Master for sure. So if I hope you liked that video, if you did, leave a like, subscribe to me for more Jagalia stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next video I decide to do. Goodbye.
Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with some good old Galia Lost with today's video gonna be a summon video. I'm gonna go for Mars over here, the Gallon Dragon. Uh, if you don't know what he does, he's a monster. <laughs> and he's right before Fire Emblem. So I got plenty of like tickets and stuff, so I'm gonna try and make it so it's only tickets for this one. But I'm gonna start with single tickets to get the um the pity rate up. So that's gonna be today's video. I hope everyone else I know everyone in Trash Alliance basically got um who they oop. Uh <laughs> We're done. <laughs> That's who I right now the reason is is cuz Pandora is named after my dog. Um my dog Pandora is named uh after the Greek myth of Pandora. Let me get a quick picture of Pandora for you, my dog. Okay, well, I've been looking for a while, and this is apparently the best picture of her that I can find. This is my picture. This is so Let's get into the video. Back into the video. Look at her dumb head. Dad doesn't pay attention to me. And then you think at the end, it's like, oh man, his dad's gonna show up because this is fucking up, and they decided that up is just gonna be the most raw fucking Pixar movie ever. His dad doesn't show up, and it's and just his Mr. new stepmom. Yeah, it's his and he stepmom, goes, and Mr. Ferguson comes. But yeah, you think that no one's there for him to put the medal on, and then you see Mr. Ferguson walks into frame. <laughs> yeah, his silhouette shows up. And you hear the, the Mr. Ferguson music play, the. And he says, it's time to cook. <laughs> It's time to cook. And then the stepmom pays no attention to why her stepson knows an old ass man. Yeah, exactly. She doesn't care. I'm gonna be honest, they don't care. I mean, they could at some point. We don't know. Up to will obviously tell us a little bit more about the relationship between him and his stepmom. I hope so. I mean, yeah, there's a lot I to I mean, explain. what else are you gonna do up about Ferguson's probably dead? <laughs> well, wait a minute. What, the voice actor for Mr. Ferguson is still alive. No, I mean, the actual guy in the story. Do you I know mean, how old he is in Up 1? How old is he? He's in his 80s. <laughs> he could be in his 90s. This is Pixar. Are you gonna tell me the most unbelievable thing in Up is that this old man lives to be 90 years old? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you that it is the most predictable thing that they kill off him in Up 2 within the first two minutes. <laughs> They're gonna do exactly like they did in Up. It's gonna be two minutes of having a big dick of Mr. Ferguson. <laughs> he just freaking lays back and just dies. And then usually the prop that says, I feel tired, or dot dot dot, and Mr. Yeah, Ferguson picks. <laughs> then he dies and he gets his arms. So he says, what's the lingua? <laughs> he says to him, Russell, his name's Russell. Russell, okay, Russell. he says Russell. This lingua. <laughs> I don't know, Mr. Ferguson. <laughs> That's a good one, Mr. Ferguson. And then he's holding Mr. Ferguson's limp body. <laughs> He's like, now that I've told you Ligma, it's time for me to go Limpa. <laughs> and he goes full limp. And he ragged off the steps. <laughs> oh. Alright, I think that's... <laughs> We gotta stop, or we're gonna keep on going for a solid hour. Yeah, we are. 